Hello, uh, job doer here today. And, um, well, I'm up in the dark right now because you know where I'm at. You can only think, but this here, probably, you know, give it away the title, is, um, you know, a little project I worked on before, and now I am back at it because they have an upgrade for this uh, room, per se. And it is the home theater room. Dum dum dum. And even though it's nice and blurry, um, this here is their new updated uh, language jobber. Get a little brightness here. It's by the VAVA, VA, Vava, Vavoom. Evolved. And uh, what this here is, is one of those um, UST, ultra short throw uh, projectors. This one's uh, in particular is a 4K version, laser. Uh, doesn't shoot, well, it kind of does shoot a laser inside, but um, you know, it does a laser for the light source. And so it should be great and bright and everything great. Um, who knows? Anyways, they said they got this on a, a uh, I guess a Black Friday deal? Sell, you know? And so uh, we're going to be taking a look at this and hopefully installing it and maybe even test drive it a little bit. So, first thing I'll do is uh, do some unboxing. You can see right there, you got the uh, tab. And I put it there. And it's important to keep this safe because you really want to keep this box. Oops. Nah. You want to keep this box in good shape in case anything happens. You can keep it in there to ship it back or whatever. Like that. Fold down like that. Oh. It was like that. Yeah, so. Oh. There's the uh, other side of the box there. Whew, and not to give it away, but that's what it looks like, right? Well, that's upside down. So, let's just uh, take a little look-see and see what's inside the box, shall we? Inside, we got a... Well, it's right here. Your 4K projector is here. It talks about some stuff. There's a thing you take a picture of their phone. Or uh, register it basically what they want you to do. So you can get an extended warranty on it. And that, we'll go over here for later. Next we got here, looks like uh, some pamphlets, right? And so, um, this this one here, ooh, fancy. You know, it's like a little card, maybe. Let's see what that's about. What does it say? It says, uh, smart made simple. Hmm, could have guessed it. And it says here, extend your warranty. There's a little card here. Thing on the back that says extend your warranty, uh, scan to visit, so it's not a website thing. And um, extend your warranty, register within seven days after receiving your order, register now, warranty, blah, blah, and you get a free Roku Streaming Stick Plus. Ah, well, okay, that's, that's something I'll pass off. And, uh, that's not too big of a piece of paper. That's uh, about this right here. A little pamphlet. Uh, let's see, the 4K UST laser projector, a quick start guide. It talks about 4K HDR, you can go up to 150 inch screen, 0.233 ultra short throw, um, ALPD 3.0, something to do with projector stuff, and then the eye care. You don't look in the eyes. Also has Dolby Audio, DTS, uh, Harman Kardon sound. And this right here looks like, he opened up, and it's um, basically a quick start guide here. <coughs> talking about keeping some distance on each side, uh, 30 centimeters. And basically, what kind of environment to install this in. And then you got some ketone correction stuff here. And that's all stuff that I'm going to read by myself. It's quite important. And then, uh, this little pamphlet here, huh, is, oh, oh my. See that? That's, that's like a novel there. Page turner. So this here's probably about um, how to do stuff. Yeah, look at that. So I'm going to have to study that. And last but not least in here, we've got this, oh, not this. It looks like clean cloth. And we got, oh, another box. And this box here. We got we got a power cord. 
nice. And um, I think that with the other end, there is a, hmm, oh, something in here, see? Wow. Remote control. Handy, and then of course some batteries. So, well this I'll shut aside for later because I don't think we need remote control yet. And what is in this phone core? Like I said, nicely packed it seems. And we have a monster. Um, hmm, register your product once you register it. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get this lifted out there and start studying the manual. And I'll be back in a few days. But on here, it won't seem like it because, you know, it's uh, editing it's and so stuff. Light. So basically, I got the, uh, the unit out of there. There's like a little cocoon skin that I very carefully um, undid. I mean, there's like a flap to it that you look on one side and you peel it open. But I shall stick that back in the box for later. Also, that was in the box. I got this uh, silicon gel stuff, right? Uh, desiccant, desiccant, silica gel. Do not eat, throw it away. I'm gonna throw it away right back in the box. And um, last but not least, we got uh, nothing else was in the bottom. So put this here back in the box. And um, um, yep, that's it for now. Now the unit here, Let's see if I can do a little show and tell here without dropping it. It's heavy, but this is the, um, this is actually the part that faces the audience. There's a speaker back up in here. You got your power button. You got where the magic comes out. You got some probably sensors here. I'm not going to touch it. And you got the heat exhausters on the sides. I think both sides have that. And I just noticed here that yes, the back legs here do have these little uh, adjusters, right? So you can up and down them. And you got this right here. Because on the bottom, you do got uh, this here doesn't move. You got some holes so you can mount it to the ceiling, I think. And uh, some warnings about laser lights. And then the, like, that leg. And then on the back side, which faces away from the audience, you got your ports. You got your your plug in here, you got a uh, internet, you got your SPDF, whatever, audio video input, um, audio output, some, some uh, special jacks here. Then you got uh, a USB, it looks like three different HDMIs, ARC, and uh, inputs, one and two. So, this unit, oh, we'll go over here for safety, nice and gently. And I'll get to, uh, get to reading you all the story, kids. So, in the beginning, now actually this uh, manual here, although daunting, depending on where you live, who you are, and what you know how to speak and read, this here is in English. So I got about an eighth of an inch of reading to do. And this here is all different countries. Right? So, uh, so the book ain't that bad. So I get to reading, and I'll be done okay, for days. So early on we got this little uh, diagram here, the setup, you see. Right? And um, you got the screen back here, you got the projector on a table, and then you have all these uh, words and numbers and stuff over here. And so what you got here is if you have your SD, that's your diagonal measurement of your screen. SD image, so you have 80, 90, 100, 120 is what we have here. Um, 150, and then over here it has another same thing. So basically, what they're going for, if you have 120 like we have here, then your L1, which is the width of the viewing area, from like back over here somewhere to, to you know, right over there somewhere, that should be a um, 104.6 inches. And your H1, the height of the image, which is from the bottom of the screen up to the top of the screen, the white viewing angle, that should be uh, 58.8. And what that's doing is getting the right aspect ratio of your um, 
120 inches across or your, your age or whatever. I mean, you can have a diagonal of like 80, but have different heights and, and widths of your screen. So we're okay on that. The screen's the right aspect ratio. Next what we have here is um, a tough one. Uh, this one up here, we have device distance from the wall. So that's not too bad, actually. Down here it's saying uh, if it's 120, it should be 11 inches. And that's the little measurement in the picture between the back of the unit and the wall. Now, game changer. <clears throat> um, this screen right here is not against the wall. It's not flat against it. It's about, I think, a 3 and a 5 eighths away. So... You're going to have to actually add either, either one, you're going to measure from the bottom of your screen, your image, out, or if you're going to go from the wall to wall, add the uh, amounts together. So 3 and 5 eighths to get to the screen, and then add your 11 inches here, that gives you like 16.625. And that's how far the back of the unit will be from the wall. Now I already did a quick measurement, and this up here probably won't work. This uh, nice sturdy cupboard case needs to come out a little bit more to get that going. And you know what, if it does come out just a little bit, it might be okay. But it'll look like a big gap behind. More importantly though, we're getting into um, the H3 measurement, the H2 measurement. And uh, H1 we don't really care, that's fine. So H3 is going to be from the ground to the top of your table, wherever your unit's going to be on. And for this here, they're saying, um, H3, they're saying 7.9 inches. So you can see in the picture, this is no 7.9 inch table here. That's almost like sitting on the ground, which is fine. Um, but it's not fine for this setup once again. So things have to be moved out and, uh, Something else brought in. <clears throat> At that rate, maybe just call it bricks, who knows. Then uh, the other thing is you got your H2 then. So from the top of the table to the bottom of your screen, your H2 is going to be right here, 13.9 inches. Now, the problem with that is this is already a fixed screen, basically. So we have to rip warp around backwards. And so what we actually have instead of 30.9 is we have a 26.25 and that's actually from the ground up. And I thought we had it. I thought they wanted this measurement to be, you know, 13.9, uh, this measurement over here from the table up and down being, um, in this case, 7.9. And I said, okay, we have 20 with this table down here and the other one was 26.5, and when I did all the math, I think I was like five and a quarter off. No. Between the normal math, between um, what this is in the book here, it says like six inches. And I had five and a quarter, I think. So a little bit off, you know, stack a book underneath the projector or whatever. But um, what I'm trying to say is this is going to be the most confusing part, and everyone's setup could be different unless you have a, your projection on a flat wall, or you have your screen that's, you know, really on the wall. And then, of course, what kind of furniture you have. So I'm going to go ahead and do some more math, figure this stuff out, and um, just end up seeing what I have. But basically what I'll be doing is I have my screen right here that I'm working with, and I'm going to go down from it. Let's see, they wanted uh, H2 again. H2. They wanted 13.9. So I'm going to measure down and then see what level I am, well, 13.9, I already did that math too, I believe. You check my work, it's right here. Um, so 13.9 and uh, down, we got 12.35. So instead of finding a table that's 7.9, I need to find a 12.35 surface to go from the bottom up. And um, this cupboard's not going to happen, but this crate over here, that would be awesome if that would work. I have to put some extra boards or something to make it a bit more stable surface. But uh, 
I'm going to measure it out and see what happens. All right, y'all ready for this? All right. So what we came up with here for now is a, a temporarily situation where we got this here crate you see, which is 11 something. We have these uh, two boards here, you can see right there, precisionly crafted at um, three quarters inch each. All right, they got a thickness here of a three quarters, three quarters. So that of course is one and a half. And then to top it off to get us our measurement we're looking for on this particular one, we got about a quarter inch there of um, you know, cedar plank board. All right, so we got this here. Not ideal per se for long term use, but if this here works and projects the right image up on the screen that we're looking for and to feel that, then um, I'll just have to fashion something else up at that exact height for this exact screen. Like I said, you all might have something else out there, but um, yeah, so I'm going to try it out now. So I've already kind of slightly measured from the back wall, the, uh, was a 14 and a 6 eighths, 5 eighths, yeah, from the back wall to about the edge of uh, this contraption here. And so I'm going to go ahead and very carefully place the projector, make sure the pads the front and back are, you know, on those pieces of wood there. And then I will and then, uh, okay, plug it in properly. Before I this down here, I'm going to show you some connections. Simple. But uh, let's see if I can get in here. So, what we've got here on what's going to be the back side of this here is, um, with the power. And, uh, you know, it only goes in one way. And so I'll plug that in. And then, we've got network here. Right, you see that? And so I do happen to have an Ethernet cable just floating around here. So it too only goes in one way. All right, plug it in so it clicks good. And then we'll do a, an HDMI one here eventually, and then that'll be it for these connections. So you want this thing uh, parallel to the wall, the, uh, the front edge down here, right? And whatever measurement you need back from the wall. So what is I measured uh, what, what about 14 and 5 inches from one side of it, and then 14 and 5 inches from the other side of it. That should give you a parallel to the wall, and hopefully the screen is also parallel to that. Now, I'm going to do some excitement here. It's time to power it on. As you can see, it's plugged in. The little button there lights up uh, white. So I'm going to go ahead and push that because um, at this point, it's not been used, and I think it talks about in the manual about having to pair the remote control in there. So do that tap and stand back. Okay, so give a little blink. That means it did something. And, um, you can hear it firing up like a Xerox printer. Must be like a, a laser printer, right? That's what I should say. Hmm. Something with this, folks. And there we go. We got a big image. Let me turn my light off because that's just ruining things. Okay, now, I don't know how it looks on the, the video, but here it looks pretty clear. Um, it says uh, searching for blah blah. So you push that and you push that on your remote. All right, you have these two buttons here. Um, the to side in the menu. Install the batteries, did that, and push it at the same time. Boom. There, it's paired. Now I should use this. Push the center button on it. Um, Do, do, do. It's not paired. Yeah, I'm lying. Hmm, had a check mark. I'll try again. So it's connected. So What should be doing here is, uh, can't even zoom out, but if you can see here, we have to do some uh, um, movement around. So you can see at the bottom there's a black line. Well, let's say a black line. It's actually the shadow, so that's going to be corrected by, I believe, moving the unit in and out. And then also up on the top here, you can see way up there, it's um, kind of shining high. So let me adjust that and uh, see what happens. Also. If it's um, not quite, you know, on the sides here, like there it's right to the black edge, I think. 
Over here, it's a little bit off of it, about a couple of inches maybe. I'll uh, work on that too. And maybe try to move my uh, rubbish out of the way so it doesn't have this this uh, shadow over here. The process here. of getting this thing paired, because you actually do press and hold the buttons down, I believe. Then it'll pair up. Um, let me see here, can I go back? Yeah, so you press and hold, just don't tap those two buttons, right? That kind of should be four. And then uh, when you do that, then you go to the next one here, which, there we go. You just select an, a language, English, um, Dutchland, Francis, Espanol, um, probably Japanese maybe, Portugal, um, I'm not going to guess it, Italiano. So it's quite a few different languages you can guess. It makes a little noise too. I don't know if you can hear it down there with the speaker, so I'll go with English. Searching for a wireless network. Now I put the Ethernet in there, so hopefully it doesn't need to really look for a wireless network. But there's a, a bunch here that are locked, so I, I don't know whose it would go to. Uh, a bunch of them, but we'll skip. On the wall, on the screen, we want on the screen. Image instruction complete. Wait, image instruction, we need that. Choose a flat wall and desk for setting up the device, and blah, blah, blah. Face the wall, drill holes on the wall. Um, okay, this is uh, maybe going a little bit too far. Yeah, so this is how you hang a screen, if you have that to hang. Okay, increase the height of both feet. Um, reduce the height of both feet. That's the of the key tones. Um, let's see, rotate the device anti-clockwise. You guys see all this? Basically, which I'm going to have to fine-tune it here, but down here in my little um, setup here, I'm going to have to, you know, do some rotation back and forth. Um, I already messed up the feet, so I might be off Wampus. And that's just going to take a little bit of time to dial this in. Let's see, reduce, if it's like that, reduce the height of the right foot, increase the height of the left foot, or vice versa. Okay, so it looks like if you're bringing them both to you, it raises them. If you push them both away, it lowers the feet. And um, I did adjust mine set up down here. I put the little board that was down in the front of this thing to the back of it to give it an extra merk because uh, it really was off there. Now it's just all off. So we got that there. And then uh, what we got here? We got vague and clear. Select the set picture setting, electronic focus. Okay, so we're not even here yet. Normal. Right. This has gone a little bit past where we are at. So, I'm going to push this uh, back carrot button here. Hopefully get back to this, and we're done to complete. Start your blah, blah, journey now. Okay, well, what I need now is actually um, fix it, because you can see on the top corner, it's a... Uh, warped it from the screen and so let me fine tune this and um see what happens Whoa. and if you get in too close to the unit um on probably the left or side or the middle of it it does that don't turn to the beam so press any key to get out of the mode so i'll just go press the middle button and boom we're back to this um which i'm still adjusting so just want to show you that little safety feature it has for if you get too close to the the beam coming out from that that down there you see that's kind of bright there yeah lasers and such um right so uh, much of uh, adjusting here. moving the unit back and forth from the wall and and Kate Wamps in it and up and down the legs the legs actually put them back down to the lowest setting and I took out one of the boards um, and what's happening here for my particular install is at the bottom here, you got this little uh, white zone here still showing through. You know, right right in here, where um, that is where the picture's not going. And it just won't. So what that means, if you have a bottom part like that, it basically means you have your stack up here, boom, too high. So I took out one of the boards, and I think I took out one of the uh, cedar boards too. 
but I need to drop down probably another board and just sit on the crate, but that's really not stable. So, like I said, for now, this is what we got, and I'll continue with hopefully some features here. So, we're in here, don't mind this stuff over here, that's the shadow. HDMI 1, 2, and 3, App Store, File Manager, Multi Screen. Really, I'm not going to get any of that stuff. Well, App Store, or maybe right here. Push up there at the top, click on that, and it has Ethernet. Set up the wired network. And push it, well, testing, see how it works. So it's going through, it's going to the internet, connection abnormally. Hmm. Funny wording. Abnormally, okay, so it doesn't want to work for some reason. Um, back button. Okay, let's try, um, go back up to the top. And, uh, we've got notifications, Bluetooth, question mark, let's do question mark. How to adjust the focus, how to check screen distortion, how to connect your Bluetooth device, Bluetooth speaker, connect remote control, ketone corrections. How to make an upgrade. Whoa, fancy talk. This is uh, quite loud. Good speaker, right? Look at that, bright, clear. I didn't catch any of that. Okay, so. Keep on going down here. Tons of settings here to go through. But I can tell you this is really clear looking when it goes into this display stuff. Mirror picture mode. So hey, that's if you hang up from the ceiling, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so um so bright too, that's nice. Or mirror flip mirror. Alright. So there's basically more settings to this, and um, I might have to get into this, but really I'll probably have to still work with them people to get a, a better stand to drop it down a little bit lower. Because uh, once I drop it down more, I can pull it out and fill the whole screen. It looks like it's going to fit just right, but you need to drop it down. And uh, how to upgrade by USB drive. Well, in theory, if it would hook up, it would hook up. Now, network, right tried that, source, display. So I've got the standard brightness, I'm going to do high, I think standard's fine for right now. i got a light on in here, it's still a bit dark in here, but i got a light in here. One of those, those ketone corrections. Um, seems squared. If anything, it is a little bit focusing on the top, so I might have to move the screen itself back in and out and test that out. Okay, well, yeah, when I do this here, it is moving that top ledge ever so much, so I can pop it up and uh, fill it out a little bit. That's neat, okay. So I'll... Uh, Pop of the other side. Also has to be redone, you know, when it gets back to its real size. Let me see, pop it over, up. Push the back button when you're done with that. I'm gonna go to the middle and um, pull it down. Yeah, that looks good there. And... This could also take a lot of time. I think we're on rough, right? Ooh, details. Rough. Eight point. Oops. Four point. So eight points there. I'll stick uh, with the eight point probably eventually. But um, for now, like I said, before you even set this all up, you want to have your screen filled right. So I'm going to hit reset on that. Well, I'm going to go back actually. Oop. Um, okay. 
Jones, electrical power focus. Okay, now I'm seeing some blurry from where I'm standing in the top left. That makes it worse. That made it better. Right. That made it pretty good. Okay, I'll back it up. And, uh, projection mode normal. Ah! Projection normal. Okay, there. Leave on that. Boot source. Hmm. Refresh rate 60. 50, we don't want that. Mm, no, nope, don't do that. I'll leave it 60. Alright, so, you know, this is going to be it for this video. Pretty quick, pretty simple. Um, let me see if I got a... Well, right now, like I said, I still got the light on in the room. But if I hit this button here knock that off. I think this is uh, going to be more most impressive. Doesn't look like it on the video, of course, but uh, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. If you want to make fun of me on this video, go ahead. Um, and thanks for watching. I'm Doer. Need a new stand, and I'll be still working on this for the people.